Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to day six of our 12 days of Christmas winter warm-up series. And today we're gonna to be working on a total body session. We're gonna be just two sections in it. We're gonna get hot and sweaty and steamy, work through everything for time. So keep the pace up as high as we can and just feel that whole body loosen up and feel so good when sessions like this are done. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. Let's follow along all 12 days and let me know how that goes, creating those awesome habits to finish the year before we crush our New Year's Day workout. On January 1st. All right, so we're gonna start uh, with a little bit of jumping just to warm up our leg. We're gonna work on one leg and we're gonna go side to side. We're gonna do three little jumps and then three high knees. Pace doesn't need to be super high, but it can if you want it to. We're gonna go right into a little bit of a stretch for our hips after that to get some heat flowing through our legs. So let's get started. It's gonna be six exercises for the first circuit here, and the first three are gonna be standing up. So starting on one leg, ready and go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Focus on that stability. One, two, three. 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 Last one. One, two, three, and relax. Nice. All right, so next one, we're gonna start from a squat. We're gonna take a big step behind, and we're gonna reach into a curtsy squat. We're gonna do three squats, do a little stretch on the side. Feels so good after yesterday's leg day. Come back to the middle, throw out three squats, jump squats if we want, and then do the other side. Starting in five seconds, rounds are about 40 seconds here. Ready, and let's go. Stepping behind, one, two, three, Four, take your arms, pull, and then twist, feel that stretch. Back to the middle squat. One, two, three, other side step. One, two, three, four, pull and twist. Back to the middle. One, two, three, and then repeat. Three, other side, last one for now. Two, three, four, pull and twist. I oh, love that stretch. And one, two, three, and relax. So number three, we're gonna add a little bit of a burpee bottom into it. I'm gonna do three at the bottom. I'm gonna stretch my hamstrings to start from a squat position. So let's, so let's do it, let's get into our squat. Breathe in, arms up. Breathe out, hands to the floor. You're gonna uh, pop up. One, two, three. Come back in, stretch. And then back to the squat. Up, down, hands to the ground. One, two, three. And stretch the hamstrings. And then back to the squat. Reach up. And down. Two, stretch. And back to the squat. Last one. Two. And stretch. And relax. Very nice. Let's make our way down to the ground. What do we got? All right, so uh, optionally, how many push ups do you guys want to do? One, two, or three in between. We'll drop our knees down, do a big, big reach, breathing in, breathe out, lift the stomach, feel the abs squeeze, and then back to the push ups again. Ready and go. Two, breathe in. And breathe out, roll that back, feel the abs, and then pop back up. Two, breathe in. And out. And back. One, two. And up. One, two. And up. One more time. on our elbows for this one. We're gonna bring our hips to the side twice per side, so four times. Step up to our hands and down twice, and then repeat again. It's got a nice little stretch to the side of our body and our back here. Ready, and go. One, 
two, three, four, Sitting on our butt for the last one. We're gonna slow things down a little bit. We're gonna start by breathing and reaching up. We're gonna crunch down and twist. I want your lower back coming to the floor, but your shoulders stay up. You're gonna take that knee, bring it into your elbow, out, and then breathe in, rise back up again. So breathing in, breathe out, crunching down, twist till your lower back touches the floor, knee comes in and out. Breathing in and breathe out to the other side. And have a constant tension in that core. Crunch one more per side. Go to about 30 seconds. Take a little bit of water. I'm gonna go through that set one more time. And then we'll switch up to our second circuit. Which we're gonna be working one side at a time for. All right, deep breaths. Let's make our way standing up, starting in about 15 more seconds. So the three little jumps and the three high knees. Keep a nice generous bend on those little jumps to feel that whole leg supporting you, not just the ankle, but definitely the ankle too. All right, starting right now. One, two, three. step with the stretch and then the three squats in the middle starting in 12 seconds all right let's do it ready and stepping behind one two three four pull and twist twist and pull back to the middle one two three other side And middle. One, two, three. And first side. Four. Twist and pull. And down. One, two, three. Last one. One, two, three, four. Twist and pull. And back. One, two, three and relax ah, beautiful ah, all right so the big stretch the burpee bottoms and then the big stretch and the reach up again starting in about seven seconds let's plant our feet for that squat ready and go up and down two three plant straighten back to the squat up and down And back to the squat. Straighten those legs one more time. And squat. And down. Two, three, and then straighten. And relax. Very nice. Back down to the floor. 
All right, so one or two push-ups, even three maybe in between, and the big long reach. Maybe try this one, keeping the knees off the floor if you want for that reach, but try not to let the instep hit the floor, staying on the ball of the foot. Ready, and go. One, two, reach, crunch, and down. One, two, reach, crunch, feel those abs still. elbows and my quads legs pretty tight yesterday that leg day it's a pretty good doozy for a short workout feel that tenderness in the quads all right starting in two one elbows down and rotate the hips one two three four Turn the shoulders and then feel it unrolling all the way to the floor. Breathing in, breathe out, crunching down with the twist, hold, knee in, push with the elbow, and then out, breathing in. Breathe out, crunch down, don't let the core relax here at all. Other knee in, and out, breathing in. Breathe out, crunch, and knee. Breathe in, breathe out, crunch down, slow. Uh, one more per side. And then crunch. And relax. Very nice. All right, let's grab some water. Okay, so for this one, it's gonna be three exercises, and we're gonna do one side at a time, and we're gonna go through everything twice. So we're gonna start sitting on our butt, working on the back table, but we're only gonna use one leg. So if you need for this, start with two, and when you can, you're gonna lift one leg and pull the rest of the way, just with that single heel. We're gonna go for about 20 seconds with that one, a little bit shorter. Then we're gonna work a mountain climber and a lunge combination. And we're always gonna be finishing on the same leg. That one will be for about 40 seconds. And then we'll finish back on our butt or our back, whichever modification you want to use. Working our abs again with a little bit of a twist. Again, for 20 seconds. So we're going 20, 40, 20. And then we'll take a little break before we do the other side. So starting in about five seconds here. Breathe in big when we pull with the heel. Lift the hips and stretch into our shoulders. Ready? And go. Breathing in. And out. Lift those hips. One more time. And switch. All right, so push up position. That was my left leg. So I'm going to start when my left leg plants in the front. So I'm going to do six mountain climbers, starting with my left leg forwards. That way I'm going to finish my left leg in front. After six, I'm going to stand up. I'm going to do four squats in my lunge, or you can do four split squats. Do a little twist, stretch out the core of the back. Come back down and then do it again. Starting in five, four, three, two, and let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plant the foot, straighten the back. One, two, 
three, four, twist, and back down. Two, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, twist, reach, and back. And back, last one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Reach and relax. Nice back to our butts. So, first modification we do it sitting down. We do three leg raises, hold the last twist once each way. You want to make it harder, lie down flat and snap into the one leg V sit. Hold the third one and then do the twist. I'll start sitting down. And I might switch to my back. Ready and go. One, two, three, twist, twist. One, two, three, twist, twist. Two, three, twist, twist. One, two, three, last one. Twist, twist, and relax. Huh. What a set. All right, let's give it 15 seconds, starting on the other side. All right, plant those hands, plant the feet, starting in three, two, and go. Breathing in and out. Six, and then the lunge squats, four, and then the twist, starting in two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, plant the foot, straighten the back, two, three, four, reach that twist, and down. side if one side feels stronger go ahead and use the one that you feel like just keep in mind which side feels easier for every movement that we do starting right now one two three here go through that set one more time per side we're all done with day six this one's packing a punch take some nice deep breaths tackle our last set here starting in 15 seconds all right sitting on our butt plant those hands Try to keep that tension constant here in the back of our leg and our lower back. We don't want to relax at the bottom if we can help it. Ready and go. Pull and lengthen. Plant that foot straight in the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plant that foot straight in the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plant that foot straight in the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plant that foot straight in the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plant that
three, four, twist and reach. And down. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, twist and reach. And back. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, and reach. And back. Four, twist and reach and relax nice sitting back on our butts all right so stay seated if that's the one that we liked or it's our last set let's try to crush these abs start lying down and snap into the one-legged V sit just hold that last one so we can squeeze out the twist starting in five four three and go one two three twist twist One more. One, two, three. Twist, twist, and relax. <sighs> Very nice. All right, we got one more set. <sighs> Deep breaths here. Fifteen seconds, and let's finish up the last set of day six. Get ready for upper body tomorrow. <sighs> All right, plant that foot. Plant the hands. Keep that hamstring, glute, lower back constantly, constantly engaged, starting in three, two, one, and go. Breathing in. One more time. Relax, very nice. All right, the mountain climbers and the lunges with the twist. 10 more seconds, deep breaths. All right, let's get ready for it. Plant those hands, bring that squatting leg in to start. Ready and go. Three of them, two twists after the third. Keep it as tight as you can for the twist. Starting in three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, hold. Blasted that entire body under 25 minutes. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Super fun sometimes just to move as much as we can, just a short amount of time that we have in our day for it. And it's always a good habit to get into, trying to fill that time, make ourselves just a little bit stronger every single day. Just a teeny wee little bit, and all those little bits, all those little bits, they're all gonna add up. And one day we won't even recognize where we started from, but hopefully we do. So yeah, I hope you guys had fun with that. Let me know how it went. Any comments, greatly appreciated. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for day seven. Going back to upper body, we're gonna work a little bit more to our back, our shoulders and arms. We're gonna focus on opening up that chest a little bit though, and give just a teeny weeny little bit of push-ups, but a little bit more with the back. So uh, don't forget, make sure you tune in. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Keep up the good work, and 